I'm joined by Lawrence from Lock Decoders. Hello, Lawrence. Hello, good morning. Now, Lock Decoders um, is an interesting phenomenon in your industry with a remarkable history for innovation. So how has that come about? Well, it all goes back to Peter Southern, who's the uh, owner of the company. Um, he started off as a locksmith and then an auto locksmith. And in those days, there were no tools to be had or many tools to be had. So necessity being the mother of invention, he made some. Uh, and of course, one or two of them were patented and are perhaps are still used today. Uh, later on, he had some suggestions to manufacturers as well, and it's been instrumental in one or two electronic machines too. Now, how have you managed to stay ahead of the market? Ah, oh, that's the difficult bit, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh, he started what, six or seven years ago. He uh, cut down a bit on, the, uh, on his locksmith business and formed Lot Decoders, which is the company you see today, and decided, right, he wanted to help manufacture and sell machinery to locksmiths. Um, Lot decoders were the first people to sell the leashy tools in the UK okay. uh, and were also instrumental in setting up what is today the AD900, but was previously known as um, Transponics, uh, the Keycrypt and Keycrypt Pro. Today, one of the perhaps cornerstones of our well, marketing and policy of our company is our backup and uh, technical technical support that we give with all of our machines, and we find that is possibly the most important factor. Now, talk to me a little bit about Miraclone. Miraclones, well, Miraclones, from when um, Miraclone is, from when we finished with the Keycrypt Pro, unfortunately, we, need, we needed an avenue for Peter's te technical skills, really, and um, hence the Miraclone. Now, the Miraclone is, uh, is a cloning machine as well as a high-class um, uh, EEPROM e machine, you know, and our idea with that, it's, uh, it's just constant improving and, 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 and innovation in it. And we're able to do this with our worldwide collection of, uh, of distributors we have, which range from, from China to Russia to Chile to wow. South Africa. And Just because a few places then. <laughs> indeed. And when we get information from them and with that, we use that to improve the machine and to innovate on it. Now, so. Miraclone isn't your, your only machine, is it? No, it isn't. Um, we're also, oh, probably around about three or four years ago, I think it was, um, we got together with a company in South Korea who had some very, very high class um, engraving machines. And we spoke about the possibility of getting key cutting machines. Now, it was a little bit of a long process, as you can imagine. and um, but. You know, we had one or two things that didn't work so well to start with, and then we got together, and now we have a great. We had a great product, and the A5 was born. Now, the A5 in the past, key cutting machines would be big and cumbersome. Now, do you remember computers 20 or 30 years ago? Oh, it's way before my time. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, they were huge. Okay, they were huge, and of course, we made that Miracle A5 smaller okay. and just easier to use, and you can carry it around a lot, and um, it works. Okay, now what new developments have there been in the Miracle range? Well, since the A5, um, we have the A9, which is a bigger machine, um, but it does a lot more. It cuts, we've got four new jaws on that, so it cuts different types of keys on it, and it really, it's, you know, it's huge. It really cuts a lot of, it cuts a lot of keys, and it's brilliant. Um, we also have the A4, which is the same, does the same as the A5, but you can work off battery as well, which normally these machines don't. And our latest one, our new one in the show, which is right behind you, is the A6. And that's going to actually replace the A5 with, with a few improvements, of course, a bigger engine. Okay, so how do you gain and hold the market? You know, that's part of the challenge as well, isn't it? But um, as you say, we, we go places. Um, we go here, you know, um, we go to lots of exhibitions in the UK as much as we can and in other countries too and um, are talking to people and finding what they need and we get more distributors and we, we like to think we give them what they want. Now, you do do a lot overseas. UK isn't taking pl second place, is it now, Lauren? <laughs> Decidedly <laughs> not. The UK will always be our core business. Uh, it really, really will. And uh, again, we're, we're always trying to improve our backup service to them, which is, which is highly regarded. And we have new things like, um, you know, you can pay over three months and, and, and we now have an extended warranty scheme. So we're trying to get better for our customers, particularly in the UK. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot going on, but what do you see in the future for Lock Decoders? Whoa. <laughs> well, so much has happened, even in the, I think I've been at the company about four years, and so much has happened in that time. But uh, I would see certainly the Mirror Clone going from strength to strength. It does so much already. Um, and in terms of key cutting, well, who knows? But 
we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be. Well, you've certainly got a presence here at the expo this weekend. I hope you get everything you need out of it. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. Thank you.